The guy is from uh, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Why in the hell I need to get my lens clean? What? I need to get my lens clean so bad. Well, where do you get a lens clean at? Courtney. The birds are like, we agree, we agree. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> the white one's coming up to the point. And now, more than $150,000 later, she isn't thinking about grad school. What do you say? Want to have some more student debt? Let's see. I would love to get some things created, not incur more debt. Ah! Maybe that's because it was like um, when you were down uh, America, and by that alcohol hospital thing, it got like, you know, foggy or whatever. It's only foggy when you get on TV or when there's light. Six birds, and they're loud. So, are you going to join us in the Jeopardy challenge? See how many you can get. What the hell? I thought you were going to be good at this. She is. She's better than me. So she's not. Oh. Ellen? What is John? No, I'm sorry. Katie? What is Genesis? No. Oh, I thought it was Genesis. Yeah, maybe not going to try it? That's in the book of Revelation. Alan, select again. Let's go. Oh, they said Alpha and Omega. What am I thinking? The law went into effect, mandating these be installed on both sides of the car's front seat. Out. Right. Handle there 400. A container of Tide can't clean this two-word phrase after you air it in public and make your pal's problems known to all. Well, dirty laundry. What is dirty laundry? Correct. Uh, air 600. Triple A says check your tire pressure before driving when tires aren't hot, as this measure normally increases by two to six with hot tires. Matea? What is PSI? That's right. Uh, handle there 8. Oxygen makes up about 20% of Earth's atmosphere. This element dominates at 78%. Katie, what is nitrogen? You got it. Oh. Air 1000. The National Air and Space Museum is home to the Bell X-1 this man used in They're both the house. What? Yeah, but that was already known, I thought. No. Yeah. No, he became official host. It was officially. Wait. Isn't, um, so that woman isn't going to be on there anymore? Oh, that sucks. 
Are you sure? Yes, and Jenny does a good job. Huh. Huh. It would have been interesting to have two hosts, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, I've heard about the Corn Palace. The Corn Palace is uh, it's a free thing in Kansas. What? Yes! No, they said South Dakota. No, it's in Kansas. No, they said South Dakota. It's in Kansas. South Dakota? It was amazing. We knew you were Canadian, but now we know you're extremely oh, Canadian. Yeah. They are gonna <laughs> really did it all right to the heart of it. Your country is gonna eat this up. <laughs> but Katie's got control. The corn palace is in Kansas. No, it says the world's only corn palace is in Mitchell, South Dakota. It said Mitchell, Kansas. No. It said Mitchell, S South Dakota. I was looking at the subtitle. No, it said Mitchell, Kansas. Sean. A trigonometric functions indicator. Me and Mom both are freaking saying the same thing. A basement merchant. Matea. What's a seller seller? You're correct. Uh, host of the most for two. This Daily Show host acted on a South African soap opera called Isidingo when he was 18. Matea. Who's Trevor Noah? Right. Uh, host of the most four. This Good Morning America co-anchor left southeastern Louisiana as the women's basketball program's third all-time leading scorer. Alan. Who's Roberts? Robin Roberts, you're right. Can a TV host Robin. for six? He began hosting The Price is Right in 1972 and reminded you to control the pet population by having your pet spayed or neutered. That's definitely Bob Barker. Who's Bob Barker? Correct. I got one. Yay. Before starting her self-titled talk show, she sang for her supper and shared the silver screen with Justin Guarini. Okay, I'm just not going to put it on the TV because every time it's always too blurry. But in the 80s, got to show off her moves on Dance Party USA. Alan. Who is it, Ripa? Kelly Ripa, you got it. How funny, there's 200. The tresses of a rabbit relative. Matea? What is hair hair? Right. I'll finish the pairs for 400. The uninterested panel that runs an organization. Wow. Alan. Was the board board? Yes. 19th century America for 200. <laughs> On October 8, 1871, a fire broke out near the barn of Patrick San Francisco. Chicago. The next morning, this city was in ruins. Chicago. Alan? What is Chicago? You're right. 19th century for four. Fuck you. On September 10th, 1813, the United States had a naval Another victory on this lake. Alan? What is Lake Erie? That's the lake. 600. No, it's not. Laid down in 1823, this policy declared the United States would not allow new colonies to be created in the Americas. Alan? What is the Monroe Doctrine? Right. 800, please. What? Monroe Doctrine. I suck at this. Let's do 2,000, please. Okay. You will be in the lead by 200 if you're correct. On May 30th, 1854, President Pierce signed into law what was officially called an act to organize the territories of these two places. Oh. What are Kansas and Nebraska? The Kansas Nebraska Act, you got it. Sir, you're a jerk. This literary <coughs> arose in nineteenth century New England. Some of its members experimented with utopian living at Brook Farm. Okay, that's transcendentalism. At the end of the round, you didn't know that one, Courtney. You can take a quick break while we take a break. How am I supposed to know about these items? 